Restriction Enzymes In this module, you will learn about Restriction Enzymes. You have already learned that desired genes are isolated in the process of genetic engineering. For this purpose, it is important to cut DNA at specific location. This is done by using restriction enzymes, also known as molecular scissors. Let us find out more about these enzymes. Going back to the history of the restriction enzymes, it was in the year 1963 that these enzymes were identified and isolated for the first time. The scientists isolated two enzymes that were able to restrict the growth of bacteriophage in E. coli. One of the two enzymes added methyl group to the DNA. The other enzyme was responsible for cutting the DNA and was named as restriction endonuclease. It was five years later that the first restriction endonuclease whose functioning was based on a specific DNA nucleotide sequence was isolated. This enzyme named HIN2 was isolated from bacterium Haemophilus influenzae. It was later found that HIN2 always cut DNA molecules at a particular point. It recognizes a specific sequence of six base pairs. This specific base sequence is known as the recognition sequence for HIN2. Apart from HIN2, more than 900 restriction enzymes have been isolated today from over 230 strains of bacteria. Each restriction enzyme recognizes different recognition sequences. Let us now discuss the convention used to give specific names to these enzymes by an example. The enzyme ECORI is isolated from Escherichia coli RY13. So as can be seen, the name of the enzyme comes from the name of the prokaryotic cell from which it is isolated. The first letter of the genus becomes the first letter of the name of the enzyme, as in the example E comes from Escherichia. It is written in capital letter. The first two letters of the species name are taken as second and third letters of the name of enzyme, as in the example CO comes from coli. It is written in small letters. The three letters are written in italics. The first letter of the strain makes the fourth letter of the enzyme name. It is written in capital, as in the example, the letter R comes from strain RY13. The Roman number at the end of the enzyme name indicates the order in which the enzyme was isolated from the strain of the prokaryotic cell. In the example, I as Roman number signify that it was the first enzyme isolated from the E. coli RY13 bacterium. Let us come to the functioning of these enzymes now. The restriction enzymes belong to class of enzymes called nucleases, enzyme that cleaves nucleic acids. These are of two types that are exonucleases, remove nucleotides from the ends of the DNA and endonucleases, make cuts at specific positions within the DNA. Here we'll focus on the endonucleases. Each restriction endonuclease works by searching for specific recognition sequence on the DNA. It recognizes a specific palindromic nucleotide sequence in the DNA. The palindrome in DNA is a sequence of base pairs that reads same on the two strands when orientation of reading is kept the same. For example, the following sequences read the same on the two strands in 5 to 3 direction. This is same if we read in the 3 to 5 direction. Once the specific sequence is recognized, it binds to the site and cut each of the two strands of the double helix at specific points in their sugar phosphate backbones. Thus, it hydrolyzes the phosphodiester backbone of the DNA. The cut is made in the strand of DNA a little away from the center of the palindrome sites. However, it is between the same two bases on the opposite strands. This leaves single-stranded portions at the ends. Overhanging stretches called sticky ends are present on each strand. 
These ends form hydrogen bonds with their complementary cut counterparts. These enzymes help create recombinant molecules of DNA made of DNA from different sources or genomes. The same restriction enzymes are used to cut the DNA so that the cut DNA fragments have the same kind of sticky ends. The sticky ends are joined together with the help of another enzyme called DNA ligase. Let's recap. Restriction enzymes also known as molecular scissors are used to cut DNA at specific location. HIND2 is a restriction endonuclease enzyme isolated from bacterium Haemophilus influenza. HIND2 recognizes a specific sequence of six base pairs known as the recognition sequence and always cut DNA molecules at this point. The name of the enzyme comes from the name of the prokaryotic cell from which it is isolated. Restriction enzymes belong to class of enzymes called nucleases, which are of two types, that are exonucleases and endonucleases. Each restriction endonuclease works by recognizing a specific palindromic nucleotide sequence in the DNA. Once the sequence is recognized, the enzyme binds to the site and cut each of the two strands of the double helix at specific points in their sugar phosphate backbones. Overhanging stretches called sticky ends are present on each strand that form hydrogen bonds with their complementary cut counterparts. The sticky ends are joined together with the help of another enzyme called DNA ligase.